Alright, so we've got five lights ahead of the drivers now, and it's lights out, and away we go. And Jerry, they're getting a very good start. I think Infinity had a bit of wheel spin there. Uh, so it's now Jerry's up into second place. So Jerry having the dream start there for Mercedes, I think. Soch still leading the way. Ethan's made up a few positions there on the start. And so the championship winner from season one is looking to make amends for his mistakes in the sprint there. But he goes a bit wide. That's going to cost him some positions. And it's tied for the top four other than Soch there. So that is a very close gap for second place right now. Look at that, we've got a whole group of cars fighting for that uh, second place right now. And there's the LP, and I think that was Jazzy in the background hitting the curb. So Jerry making a mistake. Sorry, Jazzy making a mistake there. We've got a Williams actually now in second place. I think that's Alcard. So Alcard having a very, very good race there. That was an Alpha Tari uh, flipping, almost flipping. And it's heavy, and it's thunderstorm, so th surely everyone's gonna be coming in now for the wet tire. And uh, now we've got everyone coming into the pit, so everyone is just gonna be filing their way through. I don't think anyone's gonna be risking it out there on the intermediate tires. I think that's Algar actually leading them out of the pits. Ethan's gained a few positions. What's happened to Soch? Soch has lost a lot of positions in that. Uh, Pit stop, pit stop mishap, and I think that's put him down like 10 positions or something. So, Soch having a very, very terrible day right now. He's losing out a lot of positions, even though he won in the sprint. Evans, I'm not sure what Evan, I'm not sure what's happening to Evan. He's losing a lot of time right now, and it's a red flag. Right, so we're going now for once again um, a safety car. Uh, following and it's and it's into just as and it's light rain now just as we said that and some people are actually choosing to already pit so um, that's gonna be some problems so okay so the FIA have said all the drivers are to pit this lap apparently I suppose to change to make it fair for those who didn't pit earlier so I think that should be everyone coming into the pits now and Soch has actually just gone so uh that is ethan and evan and Ev i think that's a crush evans just crashed at the pit entry so that is very depressing for evan then he's crashed on the pit entry on the restart they've just so ferrari have just thrown away uh, at least a one two then amen it's going to heavy rain now so i think surely this will be time for the wets although it's not increasing that much so these top two, will we have a bit of a dilemma now? Will they come in for the wet tire? And Soch is in indeed. Dino also coming in. Ethan will probably be coming in. No, Ethan's chosen to stay out. Jerry's also staying out. Infinity's staying out as he hits the wall there. So our top three now will be Ethan, Jerry and Infinity. You know, we've got Dino overtaking us on there. And Ethan, Jerry and Infinity have chosen to stay out. So they'll be... A full lap ahead. Pikachu has chosen to come in. So Pikachu thinking that this weather is not it for the intermediate tires maybe. And Soch and Dino, our original leaders, are now finding themselves down in 4th and 5th place. However, they are gaining a little bit lap by lap here on the front runners in 6th place. The gap is 18 seconds now from Dino to Ethan. So it looks like the inters are actually quicker right now, even if it's very marginal. Although, as I say that, Ethan going off the track, Jerry will be gaining some time from this. So now Jerry is hoping maybe for a few more mistakes from Ethan, who comes in actually. So Jerry follows him in. Infinity also coming in. So we will not have any more wet tire runners, barring Jerome at the moment, who surely will be coming in for the wets as well. And uh, that is Jerome with a big crash on the back straight there. That's going to be a safety car for sure, I think. But are we? G we might end up running out of race, uh, running out of laps though. So not running out of laps. We might run out of time in this race, I think. Pikachu reversing back onto the track there. I'm not sure what happened to Pikachu. And we go green now, I think, because Dino has sent it, and Jerry losing the back end there on the exit. That's given Dino a very, very big gap already of a full second. 
and it's going to hit thunderstorms so we're going even wetter now surely there will be no red flag this time though oh and there's Ethan coming into the pits I think Ethan I think he might have hit the bump and come into the pits because of that And here, and Dino has just gone into the pit lane, and he's made a big mistake. Dino is gonna have to, is trying to reverse out of his, uh, out, out of the pit lane, and that's cost him a huge amount of time. Look at that, he's dropped now behind Infinity, out of the podium positions. That's cost him about 10.7 seconds, it seems. So the pressure has finally gotten to Dino, maybe, as he made a crucial error there to cost him that position and now Jerry will be looking to tr maybe try and steal a win off Sogidik here Dino has obviously been looking very very quick on this circuit and going through the happen Dino on the exit looks like he's got Infinity Infinity is trying to fight this one back but I think he's got is that all he could do? No he's gotten back ahead of Dino actually so Infinity maybe he's got a point to prove here that he can be better than Dino around this circuit Getting a bit weak, uh, Dame getting a bit crossed up on the curb again, and Dino losing the front end a little bit there, I think. Meanwhile, in front, the gap is 1.8 seconds, so Jerry is actually slowly but surely creeping up to the back of Soggy Dick right now. And meanwhile, Dino has gotten past Infinity for third place. Meanwhile, out in front, look at this, the gap is now half a second from uh, Soggy Dick to. Uh, Jerry who gets all out of shape on the curb there that's gonna give give Sogidic a bit more breathing space trying to keep it safe there the gap now seven tenths out in front so Jerry's mistake hasn't cost him too much here and Dino is coming in so Dino is maybe trying to take the risk here and go over to a set of intermediates I'm not sure he that would that would be a great choice though because look at the weather it's still on 51 percent I don't think the inters are gonna be much faster at the moment as they go now down the back straight Jerry will get DRS I think but whether he uses it is another thing Jerry now they're sorry they're trying to break the toe a little bit Jerry choosing not to follow in these very treacherous conditions Sogi now defending right here Jerry's almost pushing him through that happen there and Sogi looks like he's got a bit more breathing space here as we go over to the penultimate lap I think that these uh, drivers will be screaming on those tires right now. Those tires are very likely to be very worn out at this point. And uh, we've got Ethan. He's actually slowly catching up to Infinity ahead. Sorry though, looks like he's always not getting the best launch out of that corner. You can actually see a Williams. I think that's Pikachu in the background. Oh, and there we go. The race has just ended. So, well, that's Canada 20. That's Canada season one for you. So after a very chaotic Grand Prix, Sogidic comes out on top once again, Jerry comes home in second, and Infinity rounds out the top 3 in third. And in the Drivers' Championship, Sogidic extends his lead to 30 points over Infinity in second. And in the Constructors' Championship, Ferrari now lead with 61 points over McLaren with 32.